assimilated. Why, we play bridge on Tuesdays and Fridays. We're just like everybody else. You're not blending in as smooth as you think, lady. This might pinch a bit, dear. Ugh! Bitch! Oh, my goodness me. Somebody owes a nickel to the swear jar. Oh, do you know what I say when I feel like swearing? Fudge. I'll try and remember that. Hello? Hello. Um, could we... You know what? Are your parents home? No. No, no. Um... Have you seen a, a really, really uh, furry... Is he in trouble? No. No, 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 not at all. We, we, we just... We wanted to make sure he was okay. Exactly. Hope your apple pie is freaking worth it! My brother's... Uh... Okay, fine. Thank you. That's, that's really not necessary. Why don't you tell me how you're feeling? I'm fine. <laughs> I mean, okay, a little depressed, I guess. All right. Any idea why? Probably because I started the apocalypse. Yes, I have done things that I'm not entirely proud of. I have led the occasional soul to ruin. This is true. But, Jack, it's because humans are so messed up. They're, they're so willing to be led. My mother was human. Awesome lady. Incorruptible. Not like that. Yeah, great kisser. And, uh, lost my virginity to her. No? See you soon. Hey, ass bite. My damn. Sam, enjoy the show? Kid is gonna need all the shrinks. Wait a second, so his blood is glittery? Even when he's dead, Sparkle can't stop shining. Oh God, please let that be a rifle. No, I'm just real happy to see you. What's happening? Is it a fire? Figuring that out right now, sir. Just stay back. Well, I got a Yorkie upstairs, and he pees when he's nervous. Sir, you have to stay back. You boys have no idea how lucky you are. There was a time when kids came from miles around just to be sitting where you are. What do you think you're doing with those? No, oh, you fudge and touch me again. I'll fudge and kill you. Very good. The apocalypse. Yeah, that's right. And you think you started it? Well, yeah, I mean, I killed this demon, Lilith, and I accidentally freed Lucifer from hell. So now he's topside and we're trying to stop him. He's just hungry. I don't think he's ever had candy before. I like it. I like nougat. Hi, Jack. You're new? Yes, I am. So what's your poison? Why are you here? I like cocaine. Okay, sweet. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> I'm not judging you. I'm jealous. What are you on? I'm on a chair on the floor on the planet Earth. You are so stoned, man. No, I'm not stoned. Merry Christmas, Sam. Mm. Oh. What? Oh. Open wide and say, ah. Uh. 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 So are you going to get that? You should get that. Come on. Ah. 
I was always under the impression that it was a parent's job to let a child be a child as long as possible. Oh, this is bad. Maybe we let her get too carried away. I don't know. I mean, an imaginary friend named Sparkle. What's cuter than that? You boys aren't planning to go out near Blackwater Ridge by any chance? Oh, no, sir. We're environmental study majors from UC Boulder. Just working on a paper. Recycle man. <laughs> Bull. You're friends with that Haley girl, right? Yes. Yes, we are. Ranger Wilkinson. We're legit. Well, I don't want any smart-ass article making fun of my boys. No, 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 no never. That's... We we are actually um, big fans. Hmm. You read the books. Cover to cover. Mm-hmm. What's the year and model of the car? It's 1967 Chevy Impala. That's May 2nd. That's my, uh, that's Sam's birthday. January 24th, Deans. Come on. You're like eight feet tall. You can't reach yeah. that. I almost got it. Okay, got it, got it. Oh, all right. Oh. All right, let's go kill some witches. You want know that? He's my teddy bear. I think he's sick. Wow. Uh, amazing. Because you know what? We are, uh... <coughs> Teddy bear doctors. Really? Can you please take a look at him? Sure. sure. Yeah. Don't move. I'm moving. Copy that. You know, you should know something, miss. When you put a rifle on someone, you don't want to put it right against their back. Because it makes it real easy to do. <clears throat> that. <clears throat> Sam! Need some help in here. I can't see. I can't even see. Sorry, Dean. Can't right now. I'm uh, a little tied up. You're gonna give me some pie. <sighs> yes, Dean. I'll get the chips, dude. When have I ever forgotten the pie? Exactly. Sam score on the L set. One seventy-four. Dean's favorite song. It's a tie between Zepp's Ramblin' On and Traveling Riverside Blues. <laughs> OK. Who is? Me, uh, him, and uh, this one angel. Oh, you mean like a, like an angel on your shoulder? No, no, his name's Castia. He wears a trench coat. See what I mean, Doc? The kid's been beating himself up about this for months. The apocalypse wasn't his fault. It's not? No. There was this other demon, Ruby. She got him addicted to demon blood. I mean, near the end, he was practically chugging this stuff. So, Sparkle is a unicorn and also a man? Yeah. So, a manicorn. I... I guess. May we? Oh. Yes, please. I could have used a heads up about this landing site. Why well, it always got to be me that makes the call, huh? It's not like Cash lives in my ass. The dude's busy. Cash, get out of my ass. I was never in here. Your... Well, that was fun. I could have used a heads up about this landing site. I need you to let me touch it. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. I have to do it very gingerly. Keep both hands on the wheel. Well, that was fun. I could have used a heads up about this landing site. They're dying in your beds. 
many years from now, would you be willing to trade all the days from this day to that for one chance? Is that the speech from? It's the only one he knows. Just one chance to come back here. He's in my bedroom. He's pretty grumpy. Teddy, there's some nice doctors here to see you. Close the friggin' door! See what I mean? Look at these chemicals. You even read the label? No, I read pie. The rest is just blah, blah, blah. Let's Chuck Shirley? My brother's not evil. He was just high. Yeah? So could you fix him up so we can get back to traveling around the country and hunting monsters? Irma, cancel my lunch. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm being as dramatic as my daughter now. Oh, it's on her face, Sam. It's on her face. Just tell me. She's got sparkle on her face. How do we get our girl back? Somebody's got to say something. Somebody's got to say something. You know what? Is there a spare bedroom? Great. And uh, maybe Maddie can sleep there. That should help. That's not the face. Meanwhile, however, the painstaking search continues. Look at this. You believe this crap? Not really. It is a terrible world. Why am I here? For tea parties. Tea parties. <laughs> is that all there is? <laughs> Dude? Yeah. Where's the pie? Look at that. Wrong. It's wrong. Does anybody fact check this stuff? I mean, it's... It's... Velma was right. I was a shady real estate developer after all. It's not fair. I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for those meddling kids. He said it. He said the line. <laughs> And a uh, hot shower that does wonders. Real deep scrub, purify. For Maddie. The whole family. Yeah, just get the whole gang in there. You know the family that showers together. Pull up. Okay. Pull up. You know what? Why, why don't you start there? You can contact our office for more guidance if you like. Okay. Audrey, give us a second, okay? Okay. Are we... Should we, uh... Maybe you've heard. Fate strikes when you least expect it. That was our stop. Ah. Awkward. Set things right before I flick your precious boys off a cliff just on principle. Uh, I can't do this, man. I can't, I can't live on rabbit food. I'm, I'm a warrior. Dean, you'll be fine. Yeah, you don't know that. <laughs> so what's next on the list? Well, if we're bum-rushing the Alpha, then we're going to need dead man's blood, which means a morgue. Or? Or what? <sighs> you forget the morgue. We are swimming in vamp poison. And tell our enemies that they may take our lives, but they will never take. Hold.
shoot it or anything. I don't know. Both. How do we even know that's gonna work? I mean, I don't, I don't want some giant flaming pissed off teddy on our hands. Yeah. Besides, I get the feeling that the bear isn't really a, you know, core problem here. Audrey, where are your parents? You exploded Jofiel. Where did Jofiel explode himself? Just saying. Uh, I know I can count on you. But what about your people? Are they on board or you need to do a little wing twisting? Uh, I'll have to think about it. <laughs> Don't you think about it too long. You know what they say, he who hesitates disintegrates. Hey, ass butt. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about what, like Lucifer didn't worry? Or Michael? Or Lilith? Or Alistair? Or Azazel didn't worry? Am I the only game piece on the board who doesn't underestimate those denim rap nightmares? I call this one the blue steel. Yeah, that's great. To the right. OK, back to the lineup. Well, who looks better, me or Nick Nolte? Shut up. Cold's 20 miles outside of town. Well, it's about time. I'll have a cheeseburger. Extra onions. You think you're funny. I think I'm adorable. Son of a bitch! This is blood. <gasps> he's he's dead. Like, like really actually dead. Jinkies! Jeepers! Zoinks! Son of a bitch. I mean, there could be anything in there. Anything, right? There could be spiders, there could be, be spiny blade things, snakes, spiders. I didn't want you thinking. You're not very good at that. Oh, look at you. Searching for a witty rejoinder. Screw you. Very Oscar Wilde. Room 235. It's in a locked glass case wired for alarm. I'm sure that won't be a problem. <laughs> I, how about this? What if I cut myself, put it on a little, a little piece of paper, we'll just wad it up and throw it in the mouth, okay? Started too. Brewing a real big one. Ha! Bet your ride's gonna look sweet and white. What's he saying? You, he's being a douchebag. Who you calling douchebag? Douchebag. Oh, shut it, you winged rat. Dude, what? Dang. Just you, calm down. Just get in the car. <laughs> that's right, Sally. Go cry to mama. Oh, that's it, you son of a bitch. Dude, Ugh! <laughs> 
Find a copy store. Man, I think I'm allergic to our soap or something. <laughs> you did this? <laughs> You're a friggin' jerk. Oh, yeah. This is where we parked the car, right? I thought so. Where's my car? Did you feed the meter? Yes, I fed the meter. Sam, where's my car? Somebody stole my car! Hey, 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 calm down. Dean. I am calmed down. Somebody stole my car. Whoa, Dean. Hey, 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 hey. Take it easy. Hey, hey, hey. Today, you will have the honor of playing one of the greatest games ever invented. A game of skill, agility, cunning. A game with one simple rule. Dodge. Sorry. So, fake U.S. Marshal, fake credit cards. You got anything that's real? My boobs. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> you gonna live? I mean, at the end of every mystery, Scooby looks into the camera and he says, Dean, you're not a talking dog. I know that. I... Yeah. No, but come on. I, I do look cool in the ascot, right? No? Earth, where you're always stepping in something. Come on, Constantine. I don't understand that reference. You wouldn't. I don't understand that reference, but I'm telling you. Maybe heaven could help us. Uh, not for nothing, but don't the angels mostly want to kill you? Yes, yeah. This would be something of a Hail Mary. <laughs> it's a sports term. Like slam dunk or a uh, ball handler. That's, uh, mm -mm. I don't think it's a good idea. Yeah, this would be something of a Hail Mary. <laughs> it's a sports term, like slam dunk or a uh, ball handler. You call? Like, like ball handler. Hey, what's up? <laughs> All right, take it back to ball handler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody restraining him? Ball handler? <laughs> He's still there, huh? He's there. Ball handler. The manager found the body in the ball pit. Blood everywhere. Cops have it there. Yeah, they think the ball washer did it. The what? The ball washer. The what? The ball. That's uh. Mm -mm. I don't think it's a good idea. Ball handler. You call? Like, like ball handler. Hey, what's up? <laughs> All right, take it back to ball handler. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Somebody restraining him? Ball handler? <laughs> He's still there, huh? I didn't... I didn't get that. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny talking to a messenger of God on a cell phone. It's you know, like watching a Hell's Angel ride a moped. This isn't funny, Dean. The voice says I'm almost out of minutes. Okay, all right. Okay, so you can you know, pop in tomorrow morning. Yes. I'll just... Wait here, then. Thanks, Bobby. Again, just look out for your brother, you idiot. What? I lost my shoe. <sighs> I want you to know I'm here for you. You brave little soldier. 
I acknowledge your pain. Come here. <sighs> Too precious for this world. I never said that. You're always saying pansy stuff like that. Sorry? <laughs> Sorry for what? Nice reflex. I knew what was gonna happen, Dean. I know everything that's gonna happen. You don't know everything. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah right. right. Nice, nice guess. guess. It wasn't a guess. Right, right. you're a mind reader. Cut, Cut it, it out, out, Sam. 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 You think you're being funny, but you're being really, really childish. Sam Winchester wears makeup. Sam Winchester cries his way through sex. Sam Winchester keeps a ruler by the bed, and every morning when he wakes up, okay, okay enough. enough. I've got genital herpes. I've got genital herpes. Seriously? Hey, you're the one who said play our roles. So. Yeah. I've got genital herpes. I figure by nightfall, iron rounds will work on the sucker. Sweet. <laughs> you didn't. Oh, I did. <laughs> Dean, what just did? Ah, you're, you're a cartoon. cartoon. I'm, I'm a cartoon. cartoon. Uh, is this okay? Okay, okay. This is a dream. It's got to be a dude. It's not a dream. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna follow the hotel manager, Doctor Scaldy Scal. He's like a villain from Scooby Doo. No, hey, uh, little big man. You should get some rest. Yeah, I can do that too. <laughs> Say we find ourselves a bar and some beers and leave the legend to the locals. What the? <laughs> That's all you got? It's weak. That is bush league. Doctor. Ow. Seriously. What? Seriously? You're brilliant, you know that? And a coward. You're a brilliant coward. Um, what are you talking about? As if you don't know. Get an idea. Come on. Where are we going? You need to find a copy store. Man, I think I'm allergic to our soap or something. <laughs> you did this? <laughs> You're a friggin' jerk. Oh, yeah. So, no angels. No angels, I think. Should we be killing anybody? I don't think so. How much did we get? Running? Oh. Where? It's just every time I think about it, you know, it's like a, it's like a nightmare. I mean, I can't eat, I can't sleep. It's always just there, watching. It's just a beard. I've been a little busy lately. Yeah, well, that's not an excuse, you know, because the uh, Duck Dynasty called and they just, they want it all back. Some people say I look good. No, no, Sam, no people say that. Should we not drowsy? Put your fingers in all of them. I'm fine. Okay, I'm just saying, you're taking a lot of shots in the head lately. I mean, I know that Disney princess hair gives you some padding, but... Uh... Uh, what you doing? Horror marathon on Shaka. Just made my way through the Halloweens, and now I'm about to... Oh, wow. What? Oh, yes, I shaved. I mean, it's so smooth. It's like a dolphin's belly. Blow off the scene where they sit on the Impala and talk about their feelings. Ha! <laughs> right. 
You answer the hate mail. We're just gonna get this makeup off your face. Well, <laughs> I'm not wearing any makeup. Oh, crap. I'm a painted whore. Trish Evian here with Jared Pedelecki from TV Supernatural. So, Jared, season six. What? You beat the devil, lost your soul, and got it back again. So tell us, what's next for Sam Winchester? Look, I, I really don't... Oh, and if you could include the question in your answer. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, dude. They put freaking makeup on us. Bastards. Look, I think I know what this is. Okay, what? It's a TV show. You think? Wait, I mean, uh, here. Wherever here is, this this Twilight Zone Balthazar's left us into. For whatever reason, our life is a TV show. Why? I don't know. No, seriously, why? Why would anybody want to watch our lives? Well, I mean, according to the interviewer, not very many people do. Look, I'm not saying it makes sense. I'm just saying we landed in some dimension where you're... Jensen Ackles, and I'm something called a Jared Padalecki. Also, what, now you're Polish? Is any of this making any sense to you? Pardon? Yeah. Hey, man, Padalecki. Uh, Lecky. What? Lecky, I'm pretty sure. Man, they put out new pages. Yeah, what? I mean, is this some kind of cosmic joke? Yeah, because if it is, it's stupid, and we don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> you guys okay? Give me that. What is it? These are words in the script. This isn't Cass. Dude, look at him. You guys want to run lines, or...? His name's Misha. Misha? Oh, wow. Great. Misha? Jensen? So put the names around here. Uh, you guys, you really punked me. <laughs> I'm totally going to tweet this one. Hola, Misha amigos. J squared. Got me good. I just want to dig my finger in my brain and scratch till we're back in Kansas. Really starting to feel like one of the guys. Hey. Jay Ackles. That's fake me. Yeah. This must be fake mine. Oh, come on. Look at these male modeling sons of bitches. Nice blue steel, Sam. Hey, apparently it's our job. Oh, says you were on a soap opera. What? Well, if I didn't have cancer, and I wasn't married, and I had plenty of money, would you, would you want to run away with me? Money? What, do you think I really care about money, Nicole? I care that you're healthy. Well, I'm no quitter, Eric. I, I don't like this universe, Sammy. We need to get out of this universe. Yeah, no argument here. You are uh, in Jared's house uh, because you two are married. You married fake Ruby? You did all right? Yeah. Yeah. I should figure out her name. <laughs> Sorry, please. Nothing but a bag of strings and pulleys. What? You should thank me for what I'm about to do. Why? What are you about to do? I need to make an important call. I pray to God that it even goes through. Supernatural, scene 36, take one. Marker. Action. Balthazar is no hero, but he knows Raphael will never take him back. Cut! Supernatural, scene 36, ah! take eight. Marker. Action. Balthazar is no hero, but he knows Raphael will never take him back.
Dean Grimley. And yet somehow you got no problem with it. Cut! with it. Some 36. Pick eight. Oop. Ten. That, that's... that's... Because we have more than choice. Supernatural. Scene 36. Pick 15. Marker. Action. Action. If there's a... What's the deal with all this TV crap? Pardon? Yeah. Hey, man, Padaleski. I mean, is this some kind of cosmic joke or something? Oh, man, did they put out new pages? New what? <laughs> Padaleski. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I, oh, he I'm said my cue line. <laughs> no, it's action. Cut! Uncle Rafi sent one of his masters to handle me. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. What was her name? Oh, you see, God. Uncle, okay. Uncle Rafi oh, sent one of. <laughs> Let's go back. There's a key. There must also be a lock. Cut! Action! If there's a key, there has to be a lock. And when we find the lock, we can get the weapons, and then we can have the weapons. And the lock will, so we'll have a lock, I imagine, because we open it and, of course, the initial key and that opens. We need to get all three of that crap. What? That's what he does. Oh. Oh, yeah. We initially had the weapons with the... And we need to get all three of that crap. What? <laughs> 50-50 50 /50 chance. I felt like I could keep going further on that side. <laughs> <laughs> Do we really need all these lies? I mean, I, 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 you know, I, I think we've covered it. Hey, right? cut! What is happening? What's happening? What's happening? An atrocity is happening. Seems like they should stop. And I'm, so, I'm all like, well, baby, this is gonna be strange because I'm Sam Winchester. And she's like, it's gonna be fine. And so we go. It's like during a weekday and. Um, it was crowded, but it wasn't like going on a weekend and summer did you something. Say, did you say to Jen, baby, this is going to be strange because I'm Sam Winchester. And is that the only time you've said that? And you are uh, in Jared's house uh, because you two are... Married! You married fake Ruby? It is not the only time I've said that, and yes, I did say that. Uh, <laughs> and so we go, and we're part of this, we, we take it... <laughs> Bits and pieces could be sort of experimental. Whatever. Season six. Who wrote this? Nobody says penultimate. Gun, mouth, now. Moving on. Thank God. I am H O. J and J had a late one last night. Dude, you killed Hitler. Yeah.
Call me Dean. <laughs> I killed Hitler. I killed Hitler. I killed Hitler. I think that entitles me to free drinks for the rest of my life. I'm gonna get t-shirts made. You know no one's gonna believe you, right? Well, you believe me. You were there. You know, I was thinking... Best bakery on the way into town. Sign said, best pie for a thousand miles. So, now are you on pie? I killed Hitler. I think I deserve some pie. <laughs> Did I mention I killed Hitler? I'm never gonna hear the end of this, am I? Probably not. I can feed you. Yes, all right. Oh, uh, since the last time we saw you, I killed Hitler. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. You ever coming out of there? What? Dean, a police call came in on the scanner. Hold on. Someone was found dead three blocks from here. Come on. The shower is awesome. Come on. That Constance chick, what a bitch! Well, she doesn't want us digging around, that's for sure. So where's the chug go from here, genius? You smell like a toilet. Mm -hmm. Meet me back here in five minutes. Are you okay? No, not really. What? What's wrong? Well, I kind of have this problem with, uh... <sighs> Flying? It's never really been an issue until now. You're joking, right? Do I look like I'm joking? Why do you think I drive everywhere, Sam? Man. Just trying to relax. Just try to shut up. You're holding Metallica. It calms me down. You know who does that? Crazy people! I don't understand. They're gonna kill us. Uh, sacrifices. Which is, I don't know, classier, I guess. Hey, Sam. Yeah. It's gotta be like, what, 600 years bad luck? <sighs> Hope your apple pie is freaking worth it! <sighs> so what's the plan? I'm working on it. You don't have a plan, do you? I'm working on it. Hey, hey, let's recap later, all right? Just, just get us out of here. Well, I'm trying to pick the lock. The door won't budge. Well, then break it down. OK, genius, let me grab my battering ram. Hey, the damn thing is coming. Well, you're going to have to hold it off until I figure something out. Get some salt or iron. Come on. What kind of house doesn't have salt? Well, so you freeze. Dude, you fugly. Hi. Hello. Um, Hello. I'm Germany. Oh, uh, Vita, man. <laughs> thank you, Shane. Thank you. Goodbye, thank you. I'm from Germany. Oh, goodbye, thank you. What'd you find out about Granny? You're bossy. What? You're bossy. You're short. <laughs> Are you drunk? Yeah. So. Stupid. Classic German pleasantries. <laughs> Musenberg. <laughs> Good 
Thank you very much. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that. <laughs> Look, the question is, um, since the fan base in Germany is amazing and huge, um, will there ever be a convention in Germany? Are you interested in it? <clears throat> we, we've been a few there um, a number of years back, um, but we just, it hasn't. The, the stars have a line for us to, to go back there. Uh, not to say that we wouldn't. Um, I, I actually really enjoyed uh, the concert. So, um, yeah, could be, could be something in the future. I'd love to do that. I. <laughs> you know who does that? Crazy people! So I am 25% German. <laughs> My mother's father is 100% German. Uh, so I feel you.
Really? Yeah, Sheriff. I gave her the old Alabama slam. <laughs> Pretty sure she's in there. <laughs> Alabama <laughs> <laughs> We haven't done that in years. Good luck. And we're not going to tell them about anything. Not where we're from, not about monsters, nothing, capiche? They are pure and innocent and good. And we're going to keep it that way. He's like protective of what makes Scooby Doo special. You know, he doesn't want to corrupt them. Except for maybe Daphne. But, um. Dean gets very excited. Daphne. Oh, shouldn't they? Right, Just bro. <laughs> One of my favorite YouTube videos out there, I'm sure you've seen this, is a, uh, well, I guess they call it, we call it European football. Actually, we call it soccer. Um, <laughs> and we'll call it European football. We, we'll call it European football. We we'll call it soccer. Uh, and one of these professional soccer players, the guy, like, ran by the guy and maybe did this. <laughs> Stay down and roll, roll around. There it is, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that was it. Didn't even come near the foot. But apparently, grazing a shoulder breaks an ankle in soccer. Yeah, he's gonna need medical attention for that shoulder graze. Then it immediately cuts to a Australian female rugby player who has blood coming down her face. See your face, it's my motion. I'm holding the football. Oh yeah, this is something just... But then the best thing is, is her nose is, is broken, and she's walking off the field, she just goes... What my shoe go? Bella Lugosi? That's cute. Bella Talbot, sir. What? I lost my shoe. <sighs> Zoinks. So they haven't painted the wall. Oh, yeah. How y'all doing? Yeah. 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 This is your eighth set? Is that what I heard? Uh, yeah. 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 We are alive. How many more do you got? Two more. Two more. I expect you to make a river on Riverdale. I'll do one live skip for those. I will not skip Riverdale. No shit. Oh, don't. Archie's biggest thing. That's where Archie lives. We got to have dinner with the with them, the yeah. cast, uh, what, two weeks ago? We got two weeks ago. Hideous people. Hideous people. Horrible people. Horrible people. Very ugly. Yes. Yeah. 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 Ugly. Ugly as sin. Cast. Dude, you're fugly. Uh, and old. I will say. Yeah. <laughs> I will say <laughs> that was. I know, right? Dude, I think you know they say part of you freezes, like a part of your emotional and psychological development freezes if you go through a traumatic event. You know, like if you lose your parents at a young age, and part of you. What is it called? When Supernatural started, <laughs> part of me stayed like 22 years old. So now seeing all the the younger casts who are like. 
22, 25, 28, come up and be like, hey, so y'all are like the old guys, huh? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> the old guy's like, well, so what happens? Like, y'all been doing this forever. Y'all been in the business for like 20 years. Like, I didn't even realize that. Like, part of me still thinks like, hey, our show's going to get picked up. I think they, I think they said <laughs> veterans. But well, in your ears, it was, man, you're old as shit. <laughs> I'm used to being like one of the uh, tenured elderly, uh, elders at the table. Yeah, it, it, was, it was actually really disconcerting for other people to look to us for, <laughs> for wisdom. I mean, that's very yeah. fucked up. All right, we're good to go. Really? Yeah. The uh, sheriff gave her the old <laughs> goggles. <laughs> <laughs> this is right about the time where Alex is like, wait, how many episodes do I have to do this year? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, we had a photo session just now, and um, I, I admittedly was a little aggressive when I was pinching Mark's nipple. But <laughs> <laughs> you kind of have to be. I mean, you, you have to. I mean, you're not gonna. You can't really. Like, you don't have to tweak it. So, uh, but he was really. He was. He was pretty pissed. I think it's a, I think it's a flirting mechanism. Uh -huh. The more turned on he gets, the more angry he pretends to be. That makes sense. Pretend to pretend. Uh, I'll be Mark. You be Misha. Let's go. Let's reverse. But don't don't fall on tweet me like you tweet him. But we'll do some acting. I'll be the part of Mark. Do it. There's no way I'm not gonna do it. Ah, I really hated that. I hated that so much. Lucifer didn't worry, or Michael, or Lilith, or Alistair, or Azazel didn't worry. Am I the only game piece on the board who doesn't underestimate those denim rap nightmares? I will punch you really good from behind. <laughs> it was, it was, I mean, that's, not, that's an uncanny impersonation. So we're starting on the um, show. <laughs> I am so angry. Don't you look at me, you sexy beast. <laughs> Anyways, that was Mark Shepard. Mark, you here? Good girl. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Hawaii. <laughs> Are you from Arizona? <laughs> yes, I am. Um, My question, please. <laughs> it's spinning everywhere. I'm so mad at you. I actually do need a hair dryer right now. <laughs> so much saliva just came out of. Yeah, this would be something of a hail mary. <laughs> it's a sports term, like slam dunk or. Uh, Ball handler. You call? Like, like ball handler. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Alright, take it back to ball handler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody restraining him? Ball handler? <laughs> He's still there, huh? He's there. If I had a nickel. Right there. Yes. Duh. Obby. <laughs> just, if you throw them. Throw them. No, 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 no. She throw them. She's throw a fast. away. Throw them. I don't know if she's athletic. I don't know. I don't need anybody getting a weird paper or plastic cut on their head. Thank you very much. Thank you. A paper or plastic cut? Is that, no. Uh, are like, you a uh, grocery bagger or something? <laughs> oh, one of those. Yeah, one of those. And your question, darling. Um, so, Jared have been telling us to always keep fighting and you're proud of us and you know we're enough uh, everybody what is something that you've done recently that you are proud of yourself for doing Misha <laughs> thanks for making it weird guys thanks um, I was uh, we were out at the park and I managed to change 
my daughter's diaper um, without the shit rolling out of the diaper <laughs> onto me. <laughs> it was close. It almost hit me. It rolled off the dashboard, like right past me, but I moved just at the last minute. Jared? Jared? <laughs> the last nice thing that I did was not share a child feces story to the Nerd HQ panel. Jensen? Jared, I appreciate that. Um, I got nothing. <laughs> really, I'm just, you know, a That's sad okay. sack of regret. No. We'll work on that. Yeah. Mark? <laughs> Proud of myself for mm. what? Being, what did you just being say? Me. Existing as Mark Shepard, waking up every just day, just being me. <laughs> it's tough being me. Seeing myself in the mirror. <laughs> Why do you make me sound like a pirate and you make me sound like I'm in Monty Python? HQ, yar. I'm, so, I'm super proud of it. Yeah. <laughs> Right, yeah, I look in the mirror and I see a beautiful man. The seas are stirring me today, mate. <laughs> Shiver me timbers, I'm Mark Shepard. I don't know what that is. It's spot on, is I mean, what it is. Mark? You know what my favorite letter is? What, Mark? You think it's R, but it's the C. Ah. The giveth, so quickly taketh away. Yes, we giveth. Niceth one. It's a good of comeback. <clears throat> Some days it's just really hard to come to work. <clears throat> Some <laughs> days. Some. It is hard. hard. Can I talk to my mother now? Talketh away. I talk. <laughs> hey, hey. No! Oh! <laughs> I didn't know that! But you're me, and I'm you, and we are Mark. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> more smolder, more smolder. <laughs> you need to be. <laughs> So Mark's answer is he's proud of what he just did right now. <laughs> he just turned into Marcel Marceau. He's doing mime now. We've scraped the absolute bottom. <laughs> I was trained. Oh, God, this is painful. line that he has. <clears throat> um, action. Do up sweat, sunny. Dread of what's to come. Can it? No. Barbs may amuse your circle of hearts, but you have no idea what we're tempering with you. What Lucifer is capable of. Dear, if you can't stand the heat, get out of here. I must say, it's not as scenic as I'd expect. <laughs> but in the furthest recesses of hell, limbo, where I send unruly souls for timeouts. This is the way I think we need to do. <laughs> Whatever it lacks in ambience, it makes up for <laughs> and security. <laughs> Cut. Awesome. That's awesome. You're awesome.